I guess it's hard to believe this is year three for you already. It is. It goes really quick, man. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. I'm excited for the season. So, what's the biggest difference you feel from maybe when you got here to, to where you are now? Where you think you've grown the most? Yeah, I think for me, it's just consistency, uh, being detailed, things of that nature. Um, it's just different staffs, learning whole different concepts, everything like that is very difficult. But I got a lot of older guys in the room that have helped me a lot. So um, I think it's, it's been going well. So, yeah. Tell us about the pump block and uh, what was it like to be part of that? Yeah, uh, it's a blessing, man. I just try to make the best out of my opportunities out there. Um, I, I know we got a lot of older guys, like I said, in the room. So I'm just trying to make an impact wherever I can. Uh, the special team is right there right now. so. Uh, yeah, it was a blessing, though. It was exciting out there just, just being able to make an impact. So. Where, where'd you come from? How did you feel like you were going to get it? Or? Yeah, we talked about it all week. Um, we kind of looked at their punt game plan, uh, just kind of what they usually run, and we kind of seen some things that we, we could probably take advantage of. Um, so just going out there and executing and being physical is what I'm, I'm usually supposed to do. So I just ran out there and, and made a play. And, Happy we could do that. So. Now, did you see the ball? Were you telling Malcolm where to go get it? <laughs> I didn't see what happened. They said the ball went up super it's high, and I was just there. like, <laughs> I was on the ground. I jumped up, and he got it. So, but yeah, it was it was super fun, man. Super fun. Mike, I know you're not looking forward necessarily to the guys leaving, but yeah. how much are you ready to step up? You know, when they do, when yeah. the, the older tight ends move on to be that leader, to be that man in the tight end. Yeah, room. that's um, that's what Coach Ben is asking of me. He's just asking me to step up and. Um, like you said, just be a leader. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I got Ryan and um, Hollis coming in, and I, I spent a lot of time with those guys, and Rico, who's who's my best friend. So um, I'm just blessed to have those three guys that I know of right now. Uh, hopefully we get another guy. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, and I'm just going to help take care of them and, and teach them and, and instill the lessons that Luke and B. Frage and Votto and even Tyler Fromm taught me. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and I'm, I'm blessed for this. I know the tight end's the strength, obviously, on the system. You mm -hmm. feel like y'all can keep that going? I do. Come. I do. Um, like I said, the young guys that are going to come in, I'm excited to see them. Um, and I think they'll fit in perfect with our culture. So it'll be good. What have you learned from the most from those older guys in that room, the guys you spent the last couple of years with? Yeah, uh, just kind of the first thing I pointed out, just details. Um, kind of in high school, you don't really have to worry about stuff like that much. Um, you can kind of just go out and play football. And in college, it's very detailed. We're detail oriented, um, especially the tight end position. You have to learn all the concepts, all the routes. You also have to learn what's going on inside the box, what the defense is doing, what their fronts are. Um, and it changes the run scheme depending on the front. So all those certain things that you got to learn how to how to take advantage of and, and focus on throughout the game are, are very important. So those are the main things that they've taught me. How, how much does it help you as a guy that like? You got a guy in the room who's a really good receiver. You yep. got some guys in the rooms are awesome blockers. I know yeah. your, your game. You want to be. You want to do some of everything. Right. Like how much is it to be able to look at guys who have done it at this level? Of I think it's. I think it's a, it's a good question. It's really important um, because it helps me, like I said, become detailed in every aspect. Mm -hmm. um, like we talk about Vado and his route running. He's helped me a lot with you know the details in the route running and, and becoming a little more detailed. And like I said, just being able to do some extra stuff um, and Luke and be phrased. They're more harmful of blocking, but they can definitely do a little bit of both of those other things too. So um, just them instilling the, the details in the run game are, are the big thing for me. But just taking everything from them has kind of helped me polish my game. Um, I got a lot of work to do still, but always will. But I think I'm going in the right direction right now. So yeah. You're a pretty good ways away from home. And yeah. there was a coaching change and all that. I mean, with the portal now, a lot of, a lot of guys in your situation just hopped in and mm -hmm. you know, got, gone back closer to home. Like what, what's kept you here and how you know excited are you about being a part of the, the yeah. future here? Um, I just, I see where we're going. Um, I see the guys that they're bringing in. And I trust in our coaches and, and what their plan is. Um, I know I'm not really the vocal part of the offense right now, but I do see yeah. it coming. Um, and I know what I bring to this offense, so I'm just excited for my opportunity when it comes, and I'll be ready for it. So, you got the offense 70, 73 points. Yeah, uh, what was it like to be part of that? It was fun. Like, <laughs> like I said, I, I mean, I wasn't out there was an offense, but I'm just watching it, like, just smiling the whole time. Like, we haven't really seen that in a long time, and I, shoot, I know we ain't seen it since I've been here. So, talking to Luke, and he was talking about he really ain't seen that since his freshman year either. So, it's like we're just excited to be out here, man. Um, and it's a blessing to just be around all these people that are that are really good and, and really good people too. So yeah, you're, you're a Midwest kind of. If I remember correctly, like you, yep. you got recruited by some places that like yep. love tight ends. Yes, sir. So, why Auburn? Yep. Because it's it's been a while. I mean, y'all are getting y'all are getting it to to it now. But like Auburn's yep. not a place that's been known for tight ends. Like, what made you decide to kind of come here and, and also stick it out here? Yeah, um, it was definitely the coach staff that was recruiting me at the time, like Coach Bedell and Coach Harson were gone. Um, but they just kind of showed me. 
what Auburn's about. Mm -hmm. um, they took me around, and I fell in love with Auburn when I came here, and I still am. I love it here. I love going to class. I love meeting all the people here. Um, mm -hmm. No matter where you go, like people, people are always going to take care of you. So that's something that you just don't get in a lot of places, and the culture down here is amazing. So. You said you said earlier, Rico being your best yeah. friend. I mean, these guys got here earlier in the year, early in the year. Just how quick have y'all been able to kind of connect? And what do you like about you know he's going to be another piece probably he in this offense be. in the future? Yeah, yeah. Um, he, I had him on his visit, so we kind of just got to yeah. talk, and I pretty much just gave him the real of, of what it's like here, and he appreciated that, and his dad did too, and we just built a relationship off of that, and um, he's just yeah, he's one of my best friends, him, Braden Joyner, and, and Sylvester. Um, mm -hmm. Those are those are my guys. So we just take care of each other. We're always with each other, and you know, so, so thank you. Appreciate, appreciate you, man.